Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Finn, or Yana the Gaming Fell, and I'm here again to, um, to really teach you some more stuff about triggers and things that we can do with them. So, we've kind of covered some stuff on tasks, on, like, push tasks that we can do to, uh, to get things going, so, um, you know, what what we want to do is do some more demonstration of, you know, how we can trigger things and how we can kind of um, cover off different things in the mission editor so that you can kind of have some more tips and tricks to use. Um, so let's start with, I'm going to place down a ship. I'm going to place down the early book, um, which if you don't know, the early book is a, um, a, a, I think you call it a missile destroyer. Or it's certainly a destroyer of some kind. Um, but it's uh, yeah, it's basically a a cruise missile launching platform, uh, and it, it's also capable of delivering um, surface-to-air missiles, etc. Um, but in this case, we're going to use it for the uh, the Tomahawks. Um, we're just going to set a waypoint out in front of it, and then um, just make sure that it's got a nice bit of travel there. And then, so that's all this guy's going to do is he's just going to travel from point A to point B. You know, that's that's his job. But if we were to go to the uh, the triggered actions here and hit add, and uh, we can do um, perform task, we can do fire at point, and then let's just call it destroy. And then um, we don't need a radius. We're only going to use one round, and we're going to uh, going to use guided missiles, and um, that, that's all you need to really tell him to fire at something. Um, and notice that's in the triggered actions, like I say. And we're just going to take the little triangle that it gives you, and we're going to drag that onto something of note. Um, let's do it onto one of these bunkers here at uh, Sanaki Kolki. Um, let's have a look. Where should we go? In fact, let's uh, let's put something down for it to hit. Um, in here, what have we got? Static objects. Let's go for one of these, and uh, let's pick something Russian just to fit the vibe. And then planes. Uh, we could use the Atlas. Let's say uh, a mod. I think this kind of uh, also An 30M is good enough. Kind of a prop aircraft. Um, and then. You know, we'll. Uh, I've been using the. Uh, I've been using the. What's it? I've been using the Hornet, uh, the Harrier so far, even, and uh, so I'll continue to use that. And we'll just do uh, take off from ground. And uh, point ourselves kind of roughly in the correct direction. Ooh. Over here, so that you can kind of get a shot out the window. Um, probably set it back a little ways and so now what we've got is we've got a target which is the R marked AN30 um, which is you know what we're gonna blow up we've got the uh, the Harrier here that we're gonna be sat in to observe from and we've got the Arleigh Burks out there with a the triggered action set up to absolutely annihilate this position now if we wanted to we could actually change this from a fire at point to attack group and that will use the uh, the tomahawks to attack the group in whatever whatever way you see fit. Um, obviously, if you tell them to attack, um, if you tell them to fire at point, then he's just going to use a cruise missile and dump it on that point. If you tell them to attack group, then they can change their doctrine based on what group they're going to attack. So, you know, if we're talking about attacking aircraft, then he will engage an aircraft with I think an SM7 um, surface to air or like sea to air missile um, you know if you're attacking other ships probably gonna be a harpoon I can imagine uh, obviously if you're attacking land targets it's gonna be a tomahawk uh, or you know if you're within a certain range of a land target we could use the cannons that are aboard the ship that's also a capability so hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go to triggers here. We're going to hit new and uh, we're going to do the same kind of thing that we did in the wave spawning video. We're just going to say fire at will. Well actually let's just call this radio 
request. And of course we can uh, we can even change the color of this this one here. Uh, under conditions, uh, well what's the condition that we want to change? Well this one's going to be time more than one because we need to add in a radio option which lets us call in the strike. So um, what we want to add here is a radio item uh, add even for coalition uh, for blue and then fire at will and then that will as a result set the flag number one to a value of one so um, what this has done just to kind of explain it to you is that this trigger named radio request after one second of in-game time will uh, add us in a radio me menu option under the F10 radio menu um, to call in a fire at will request. Great, but that just adds the option, that doesn't actually fire it, so let's create another one, set it to yellow, and let's call it fire at, at will, like that, and we can add in a new condition and the condition will be flag is true oh here we are flag is true for number one and then actions are AI task push fire at point now depending you could have it so that you can call in as many attacks as you like using that radio menu on that one target in which case it would uh, you know add in that uh, that vehicle, well, it would, it would, you know, it would add in that request from that vehicle uh, to launch the uh, the missile, and then you know you could just do it again, but you can't move targets with this, so you can only attack one target the way that this is set up at the moment. Um, so because we're only going to attack one target and it'll hit because it's a tomahawk and it's hitting a stationary object and there's nothing to intercept it or anything like that, then we'll just add in a. Uh, Let's just make sure we've got the right one here, yep. Uh, we'll add in a new thing saying uh, radio item remove and then uh, we're just going to quickly take the name fire at will from this one and then set the coalition to blue and set the name to fire at will and now it will get rid of that option. So once it's done, um, once you, you trigger it, it'll fire a missile and then it will get rid of the radio option so that you can't you know, keep sitting there triggering it and sending a missile at the already exploded carcass of the uh, the plane in front of you. So great, let's uh, let's give that a go, shall we? Um, oh, that's uh, that's the only blunder I made there. Ah, oh, another one. Don't worry, I don't do outtakes. I do single cuts so that you guys can see I'm not adding anything extra in. I'm just doing it all in one go. So skill, set that to client over on the airplane group information there. And that's all you need to do. That just makes sure that when you spawn in, uh, you can actually select that aircraft and it not be AI and want to take off from that one position. So, here we are. And you can see there off to our right hand side is... Uh, the vehicle in question and we're gonna just go trigger the radio menu go to other and fire at will well let's uh let's go to the ship now and uh it'll take a little bit of time but there we are it's now instructed him to fire that tomahawk we'll hit f6 and now he's going to cruise on into the target. So uh, we'll we'll just track along with him there. Here we go. Really is skimming along at treetop level. So any minute now he's going to pull up and uh, make his terminal move. There we are. And so, uh, let's go see this from a first person perspective. There you are. So, that is how to instruct uh, or use the radio menu to, uh, to, to call in a pre-planned attack on a specific position. Now, you can use this for a whole bunch of stuff. 
Um, you can use it to have, um, you know, maybe a convoy start moving. Um, you could use it for having, um, well, like a lot of stuff, you know. You could use it for having close air support being called in by another group. You could use it for calling in reinforcements. You could use it for a, a whole world of stuff. So never underestimate the power of triggers in DCS. So, um, well, you know, I mean, uh, I'd just like to thank you all for your time. I hope you all have a lovely day and that, um, that this has been very useful to you. Obviously, you can feel free to like and subscribe if that's something that you're interested in. Um, but yeah, there will be more content on its way. So uh, hopefully this has been beneficial. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day.